the questions about your decision to, uh, it's, it's contemporary uh, in set, but the language is the same in that decision. Um, let's just get, let's cut to the second one. I don't have any good advice. Okay. <laughs> My advice is if you write something, shoot it. Because you can now. And when I started, you couldn't. Um, that's, my, that's, that's my biggest advice. That's the best I got. I've had people come and say, can you give me any advice that isn't that advice you always give about shooting it? But really, that's what I got. Um, yeah, she, she was really popular. Um, but, uh, and, you know, I actually think 10 Things I Hate About You is pretty great. But I would never uh, want to make a, an updating of a Shakespeare plot. That's not, you know, bless his heart, the plot is not the reason we're there. It's, it's the humanity and more than anything, it's those words. The music of those words, the life in them, the character. Um, I would never touch them. I cut some of them and I changed one of them. Um, I decided in my infinite wisdom that it might be more sympathetic if Benedict did not say, if I do not love her, I am a Jew. <laughs> So I decided to change it to, if I do not love her, I'm a black guy. But then I thought, no, that's not gonna work either. So um, I changed it to fool. But no, his words are, were the thing that brought us all together. Um, they were the thing that you know, have, have sustained over um, 400 years in different countries and different cultures and different modes of speaking and different accents and different, it all fits, it all works because the stuff is so resonant and human. Um, the modern dress thing is, A, because I wanted to capture some of the sort of casual intimacy of the readings themselves. I wanted people to be able to have a, a way in, that it wasn't, you know, giant starch collars and, and, and doublet and hose.